Snacking is life. In today's video, I wanna cover some of my favorite healthy snacks and I wanna help you get clear on the best snacks for you and your family. And what I'm gonna do is cover a video that we published on this channel that 90% of you haven't seen, where I cover some of my favorite healthy snack recipes, ways to make it affordable, and this is a really fun video. So stay tuned, we're gonna get into these healthy snacks. I know you're gonna love this. Now before we get into those 10 healthy snacks that I personally love and enjoy, I wanna talk about the concept of snacking. Should you snack? Well, I wanna really take us back to around 15, 20 years ago in the nutrition advice. The old nutrition advice was we should eat lots of small meals every two to three hours to stoke the metabolic fire. So it encouraged a lot of snacking. And it turns out that's actually a terrible idea. When you snack too much and you eat food way too frequently, you're throwing your blood sugar constantly into a tailspin. Your body has to release more digestive enzymes, more insulin, so we don't wanna snack too much. But there are a few times during the day where I think it is good to snack, particularly in the time between lunch and dinner. So most people have lunch, or if you're intermittent fasting, this might be your first meal a day, sometime around 11 or noon. And then dinner's often not until five or six o'clock. So there's this big stretch of time where people often get in trouble because they're getting hungry, they get a little hangry, a little tired. So I think it is a good idea to slot in a little bit of snack sometime in the afternoon, a couple hours before dinner. And that's where the ideas are gonna come in of these healthy snack ideas. Now, when it comes to a good snack, I think it needs to meet a couple criteria. One, it should be as least processed as possible. So the snacks I'm gonna show you are simple basic foods, combination of nuts, jerkies, certain kinds of fruits, and some protein bars and shakes. All these things are gonna be really mostly natural and non-processed for the most part. And a good healthy snack also needs three criteria. It needs to be rich in protein, because protein gives you energy and it keeps you full, and it's good for recovering from exercise. It needs to have a good amount of healthy fats, which stabilize your blood sugar, give you more energy, and it also needs to have some fiber, because the fiber is really good for your digestive health, your heart health, and the good snacks we're gonna cover are gonna meet these three criteria. Let's get into the first snack. FitFatherProject.com all right, so the first of our 10 healthy snack ideas is what I call the classic. And this is pairing any kind of fruit that you love with about a handful of some nuts. So here's the most basic idea. You get an organic apple, which is around 80 calories, and you pair that with about one third cup of some kind of nut. So I have some pistachios here. This is a really nice combination. You could also do pears with almonds. You could do some berries with macadamia nuts. And the reason I love this snack and it's so good is because you can do it basically anywhere. It's non-perishable. So whether you're leaving for work or you're traveling on a trip, you can always get some kind of core fruit. Apples and pears work really well. So do the organic mixed berries. And then the key thing with the nuts is not to eat too many. You really wanna have about one quarter to one third cup. When you pair a piece of fruit with some nuts, it's really satisfying. It meets the proteins, the healthy carbs, the healthy fats, and it's only gonna be around 300 calories and it's non-perishable. So that's a really good idea. Now to build on this, snack number two is you can actually have that healthy fruit. So any of those fruits that you may love, ideally organic, you can actually pair it with some cheese. So cheese is great, particularly if you get a higher quality cheese that is organic because it's gonna give you some protein and some nice fats as well. So here I have some goat cheese. So a classic is like some goat cheese on an apple. Like that's a really nice spread. We have some other kind of cheeses. You can get cheddar cheeses. You can get sheep's cheese like Manchego is another good one that I like. Or maybe you like some different kinds of string cheese or brie or whatever it is. But like if you can tolerate dairy, a little bit of fruit, a little bit of cheese is a phenomenal second snack. And again, we wanna make sure the portions on the cheese are not too big. So really look at about your handful. You don't wanna have more than the palm size of the cheese and that's gonna still keep you in this around 300 to 400 calorie range for your snack. Now the third snack on our list that I absolutely love is any kind of jerky. So in here I actually have a little bit of some grass fed beef jerky. You can also get turkey jerky, salmon jerky. And this is good because again, it has just a lot of protein and has a lot of flavor. And again, it's non-perishable. Now with this, this is gonna be a higher sodium snack, which I believe on face value is not a problem unless you're specifically watching salt for your blood pressure. But this can be a good snack. It's like that classic road trip snack and you can bring jerky with you. And in terms of serving size, you basically wanna have, I'd say around a cup of the jerky, like not too much, but I'd say it's probably around five, six ounces. It's gonna be a good amount of protein, but you also could add some healthy fats to that. You could pair that with some nuts. And some of my favorite nuts, because I don't believe that all nuts are necessarily created equal when it comes to health benefits, are macadamia nuts, pistachios, walnuts, and maybe some almonds. These are like my go-tos. And cashews can be good too, although they're technically a legume, not a nut. You may not know that. Okay, so the next snack on our list, besides jerky, is to get a couple pieces of celery right here. So I have two stalks of celery, and ideally get organic celery, a lot of health benefits to this. And then you're gonna take some peanut butter. 
and you're gonna slather the inside of this with some peanut butter. So this is like a classic mom snack. You put the peanut butter or almond butter in the celery. Now, peanut butter and almond butter can be a good snack, but again, you don't wanna go eat the whole entire jar. That's where you get into problems. So that's specifically why I recommend you treat these celeries like little boats, and you pre-roll into the peanut butter. So you have just a full strip here and a full strip here. That'll roughly equal about three tablespoons of peanut butter, which is gonna be around 15 to 20 grams of fat, which is like a perfect amount. And then put the peanut butter or almond butter jar away. Don't get more of that. And to make it even tastier, you can actually put some pink Himalayan salt in here. And the reason I love this is because there's so many health benefits of celery, but most of us don't eat celery. Like who's just chewing on celery? But if you put some peanut butter or almond butter on there, it's gonna be delicious. You can add the pink Himalayan sea salt for some good minerals and you have a nice quick snack. And it's actually really tasty and I personally do this quite a bit. So next snack on our list is some good old fashioned hard boiled eggs. Absolutely love these. And what I specifically do is I try to have hard boiled eggs um, in the fridge almost at all times because I'm putting them on, on salads sometimes. I can use them straight up as a snack. And here's how I actually prepare the hard boiled eggs. You get like a big pot of water on a stove top, but you keep the water cold first. So I put all the eggs in when there's cold water, the raw eggs, and I put a little bit of ice in there to cool it down. And then you turn it on and bring it to a boil. And once you reach a boil, turn off the heat so it, it's boiled now, the heat's off, and let it sit for about nine to 12 minutes. And once it's done, nine to 12 minutes, you throw a bunch of ice in to stop the cooling and you have some perfect hard boiled eggs. So it's not hard to do. And the reason I love these is each hard boiled egg is filled with those beautiful healthy fats from the egg yolk, has all the protein from the egg white, um, and it tastes really good if you crack it open and you peel it off and you put a little salt and pepper, or a little thing that I've found, if you like the taste of deviled eggs, you can just cut that hard boiled egg in half and actually put a little dollop of some Dijon mustard. And I promise you, it actually tastes kind of like a, a deviled egg. Call it a poor man, poor woman's deviled egg. Try it. Get the hard boiled egg, put a little bit of Dijon mustard, boom, really easy, nice snack. And you can have like three of these hard boiled eggs and you're gonna be getting like around 24 grams of protein, right? With about 10, 15 grams of healthy fats. It'll help keep you full and it's a really good high protein snack. So the next snack on our list, if you're just looking for something salty, because sometimes we don't necessarily, we're not really hungry, but we just have a salty uh, craving taste, a good way you can do it is actually get to some sauerkraut. So I have some organic beet sauerkraut, and this is really cool because beets give you a lot of heart health benefits. They're really good in natural nitrates. Um, and this is sauerkraut, so it's fermented, so it has some of the good probiotics. So you can get sauerkraut, you can get some kimchi, which is like the Asian version of that, or you can also get just like a pickle. And sometimes all we need is a little bit of salt. So a couple spears of a pickle and you're good to go. And maybe that can take the edge off. So if you know you have a salt to your palate, keep some of these things in the fridge. They can really go a long way. Next snack on this list is to actually make like a gourmet nut mix. And I'll show you mine, I actually brought mine. I make this around once per week and, and we'll show you up close in just a moment what this looks like. But what I do is I actually get a little cast iron skillet and I put a little walnut oil in the skillet and then I throw in Brazil nuts, macadamia nuts, pistachios, walnuts, and some pine nuts. And I throw a ton of spices in there. I throw pepper, I throw salt, I throw paprika, maybe a little um, jalapeno in there, maybe some turmeric. And just really any spices that you love, just throw a lot of flavor in there. And I lightly roast them for about a three, four minutes. And then I have this beautiful nut mix. Now, with all nuts, they're incredibly heart healthy, they're beneficial, they have so many minerals and proteins and healthy fats, but you don't wanna eat too many. Especially if you've added a little bit of the walnut oil like I did, this is a decently high calorie snack. So I would say limit yourself to about um, one third cup max. And that's gonna be around 350 calories, which is fine. You know, the whole point of a snack is to give yourself some calories, but you don't wanna eat too much that you're going over your calorie target if your goal is weight loss. Now, if your goal is muscle gain, this can be a great snack. Maybe go up to about a half a cup. And the reason I love this is this is not a heavy snack. It's not something that's really hard to digest that weighs you down, but you get a lot of good nutrition in a small size. And again, this is non-perishable, so you can take it all over the place. Absolutely love the nut mix, and there's many ways and recipes you can do that. Now, next on the list is something that's really easy and fun if you have a little more time, and that's to get one piece of some high quality bread that you love. Ideally, this is an Ezekiel bread, which is an organic uh, flourless bread that we really love and we promote inside our programs, or you can get organic sourdough or something like that. Toast that piece of bread up, fry a little egg up, and then throw maybe a little avocado if you want on there. Make like a one open-faced, sunny side up avocado piece of toast. This is gonna be around 300 calories. You're getting some good carbohydrates, you're getting some fiber, you're getting some healthy fats in the avocado and the egg. And if you're looking to build muscle and you wanna add a little more protein, you can tolerate dairy, maybe you put a piece of some organic cheese in there and it really is tasty. And you might even like it so much, you might wanna go back for a second. 
And heck, that could even turn into a little bit of a meal for you. So the idea of doing an open face with a sunny side up egg, really easy snack. Now, the, all this stuff we talked about so far is basically non-processed. It's like single ingredient foods, nuts, fruits, cheese, jerkies, you know, sauerkraut, I guess is kind of a mixture. Next on the list is gonna be stuff that's a little more processed, but still very beneficial. And that is, you can use some protein bars or some protein shakes. So when it comes to protein shakes, you definitely wanna get a high quality protein powder. We make one, it's called Superfuel. it's amazing. There are lots of other good proteins on the market. What you wanna look for in a good protein is it has a good protein to sugar ratio. So at least for every 10 grams of protein, it has one gram of sugar or less. But the cool thing about something like Superfuel or another high quality protein is we also include a low dose multivitamin. So it gives you like 100% of most of your vitamins. We have probiotics and some organic super greens and super berries in there. So it's really nice all in one. And you could be very simple about this and literally just have a shaker bottle or a mason jar, throw a scoop of protein in there, maybe you throw some chia seeds or a little almond milk and boom, you have like a two second make it shake. Or you can get a little fancier and make some stuff. Like the next snack on our list is you can actually get, make some protein balls. So the way to make a protein ball is you take a little bit of this protein powder, you throw in a little bit of uh, some almond butter or some peanut butter, maybe you throw in a date, maybe you throw in a little maple syrup, maybe a little salt pepper, and you can roll these things up into little balls that only have around 50, 60 calories per ball and have some healthy fats and proteins. And then you throw them in the fridge or the freezer and cool them down, and boom, you have an easy grab and go snack. And again, with all these grab and go things, you need to be thinking about how many am I actually gonna have here? And I think around three to four is plenty, and it gives you a little cuts the edge on a sweet tooth that is very nice. Now there also are some good protein bars on this list and this is one I wanna wrap up with and I wanna show you a, a brand that I'm actually kind of into right now. I'm gonna get it from my little box here. And this is a brand called House of Macadamia and they make macadamia nut bars. These are quite good because macadamia nuts are one of the best nuts, very healthy. And these bars are around 45% macadamias and then again, they also have some cacao or some coconut or other flavors. Other bars that I think are pretty decent have more natural ingredients are RX bars, certain brands of Quest bars, and there's also some good plant-based bars, or maybe you even wanna get those epic jerky bars that's just like some salmon or some jerky bars, those are fine too. But if this is something you like, you do like the idea of having a bar, then I recommend you make that a consistent thing. Buy them in bulk, keep them in your car, keep them in your office so you have them. Because when it comes to snacking, the idea is for it to be fairly planned. Like you know that you're gonna have a snack roughly around a certain time and you do it proactively instead of reactively. Actively. And then the other side of snacking to kind of wrap this up is if you know you fall prey to certain kinds of unhealthy snacks, you know like to snack on the chips or chocolate, try to get that stuff out of the house and think about, okay, I love chips. How can I make a substitution for that with something that's similar but healthier? So an example and something I didn't necessarily cover deeply in this video is my family and I, we have a dehydrator. So it's one of those like machines, you can also use an oven that cooks things at around 140 degrees Fahrenheit or lower and it can dehydrate things. So we make apple chips. I'll slice some apples, I'll throw some cinnamon on there and some salt, throw them in the dehydrator. Now you have apple chips and maybe that's a substitution for tortilla chips. Uh, or maybe you like other things. Maybe you like a sweets at night and you like ice cream. Well, you can make healthier versions of ice cream with frozen bananas, a little bit of peanut butter, um, and some chocolate in there. So you can make a healthier version. So think in terms of substitutions of what you normally do like that's an unhealthier version, because there's lots of good options in today's day and age. And then look at some of the stuff on this list. If something jumped out to you, make this a staple in your life. Because when you have a healthy snack, this can become something that's like really regimented for you. You have more structure, you can stay more consistent. And if you have kids and they need to be eating more calories and more snacking, this could be the stuff that really fuels them up and they don't have to go get all the sugary crap that's honestly just making them sicker, fatter, and dumber, uh, to be really blunt. So these are some healthy snack ideas. I hope you found this valuable. If you like this, then give us a thumbs up and also let us know in the comments below if there's some other snacks that you like or if you have specific questions about some of the snack ideas that we came up with here. And if you haven't subscribed to our Fit Father or Fit Mother Project YouTube channels, please subscribe. Hit the little uh, notification button as well to get notified when we publish new videos every single week. We have over 500 different videos on the channel covering nutrition, covering specific workouts, form tutorials, the psychology of healthy living and how to be a fit father and fit mother. I know you're gonna find a lot of value on our channel so hit the subscription button give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed this it helps us spread this video all across the interwebs thank you for being my friend this is dr anthony balduzzi signing off for our video on healthy snack ideas and i'll see you very soon